Verehrte Damen und Ladies and Gentlemen, all 295 passengers of the Malaysian Airlines Boeing 777 were killed in the crash above eastern Ukraine. These are the facts about the latest dreadful news in eastern Ukraine. That is just what the mass media has been waiting for, to steer the blame in direction of the Kremlin with speculation and guesses. The purpose is to set the Western population against the Russian head of state Putin. We would like to demonstrate how this is done based on the 8 o'clock news of Swiss radio station SRF1 from July 18, 2014. Already the introduction starts with assumptions. We quote. The plane crash in Ukraine and a clear opinion from the USA. The American government believes that the flight of the Malaysian Airlines must have been shot down. And then it continues in the subjunctive in this report, giving what it possibly could have been like. Quote, Radar analyses that have not been published yet are supposed to show clearly that a rocket approached the airplane and caused the crash. And the radio station continues, quote, In the opinion of the USA, the airplane was shot down above eastern Ukraine, but it is still unclear who is responsible. The open question of guilt is not good enough to the radio station and so a correspondent from Moscow is being involved. And he let his personal thoughts run free. We quote Peter Giesling. Well, I must say that the assumptions spin over so that we must be aware at any time that in some issues we move in areas of guesswork. This is the introduction of the correspondent in Moscow. But the focus still had to be put on the so-called pro-Russian separatists and so he continues. We quote again. But to me it is fact that the pro-Russian separatists must be in possession of Russian-guided missile systems, with which most probably the Malaysian airliner was shot down. End of quote. Well now, what actually is fact? Nothing is fact. Because even these apparent facts are being presented in forms of possibility. And as well, the hint towards a Russian weapon system does not lead to neutral reporting and may again be understood as a pointer to the Kremlin. Even the Ukrainian army fights with Russian weapon systems. With what else? So why this hint? The answer is given by the Moscow correspondent himself as he summarizes, we quote, but again, these are assumptions, but they point quite clearly in the one direction. Instead of a neutral reporting, we experience once again a huge gathering of presumptions. These are mainly to keep on heating the dangerous situation in Ukraine. But to whose advantage? Is it not first and foremost of use to those powers that have interests in the further escalation of the conflict in Ukraine? Does the continuing escalation of violence not exactly fit into the patterns of the American warfare of which we have reported in detail? So, it is no surprise that just a few hours after the crash, the American Vice President Joe Biden was in no doubt about the fact that it is a matter of direct firing. And he, as well, points his claims to release the flight recorder first of all towards Moscow. Another tried to involve Russia into the conflict. The USA has more than enough reason to bring their arch rival into a worldwide discredit. With the establishment of a development bank next to the corresponding currency fund at the beginning of this week, Putin and the BRICS partner countries Brazil, China, India and South Africa break into a US domain. Very soon the USA may lose their supremacy in the world entirely. About that, Klar TV reported in detail yesterday. But on the other hand, what use would the Russian head of state have in a civil war in Ukraine? 
It is a war that is directed against the Russian population. There is great danger that the war is going to extend on Russian territory, and that is surely not in the interest of Putin. What would be his interests in a worldwide escalation of the crisis? It is time that the nations of the world again learn to count one in one together themselves. It is high time to put our American calculators aside that only no one result at every calculation. It's Putin's fault. Do you already belong to those people who think for themselves? Then recommend Kla TV and help us to reveal the war propaganda of the mass media and to spread our counter voice amongst the people. We wish you a good evening.